Welcome to the World of the Invaders, a gripping 1967 TV series that stands as an enduring symbol of the industry. Have you ever wondered what makes this classic show eternally relevant? Keep watching as we unravel funny, shocking, and sad facts that add layers to this iconic piece of television history. This sci-fi gem first captured audiences' attention in 1967. When was the first time you experienced the suspense and intrigue it offers? Share your story in the comments below. Known for its suspenseful narrative, this series has left an indelible mark on viewers. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience with it? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Get ready for a journey filled with twists and turns as we explore what makes The Invaders a timeless classic. Funny anecdotes, shocking revelations, and poignant moments await. Don't miss out the best is yet to come. What enduring qualities do you think make this TV series an everlasting symbol of the industry? Let us know in the comments below and keep those stories coming. Your experiences make this journey all the more special. So sit back, relax, and immerse yourself in the world of this show, a series that continues to captivate audiences. Share your thoughts and let the nostalgia flow. Stay tuned for more interesting tidbits. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to The Invaders? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share the nostalgia and let's celebrate this classic together. In the 1967 TV series, The Invaders, each of the 43 episodes offers a unique and engaging experience for viewers. In the first episode, titled Beachhead, the use of stock music from the outer limits provides a distinctive color feel. The second episode, The Experiment, introduces one of the series' strengths top-notch guest stars such as Roddy McDowell, adding value to the overall viewing experience. Moving forward, Episode 3, The Mutation, captivates with a compelling storyline about a mutant invader accompanied by special and improved end title music. However, a mid-episode fight scene may appear less convincing due to the obvious use of Roy's stunt double in bright daylight footage. Episode 4, The Leeches, stands out as the second best episode, featuring Arthur Hill and Peter Mark Richmond, delivering a knockout performance that holds the viewer from beginning to end. Genesis, Episode 5, showcases the best filmed action scene of the series, demonstrating the show's ability to turn routine settings like an underground car park into visually striking scenes. Episode 6, Vicar, earns the title of the best episode, with stellar performances from Jack Lord, Alfred Ryder, and a captivating female lead. The synergy of acting, direction, scripting, scoring, and location filming elevates this episode to outstanding levels. In Episode 7, Nightmare, the introduction of an insect threat adds a unique twist reminiscent of Irwin Allen's later work, The Swarm. Episode 8, Doomsday Minus One, appeals to military enthusiasts featuring excellent location filming. However, Episode 9, Quality Unknown, directed by Sutton Rowley, lacks his usual imaginative touch, missing an opportunity to showcase his unique talents. Episode 10, The Innocence, featuring Michael Rennie as an alien, falls short of expectations due to an average script that underutilizes Rennie's talent. Episode 11, The Ivy Curtain, introduces mild humor as the aliens navigate human school and engage in human nightclub scenes. The presence of an actor from Twilight Zone adds an interesting layer. The Betrayed in Episode 12 delivers a good story with clever sets and standout performances from female guest stars. Episode 13, Storm, finally brings Irwin Allen-ish special effects magic, enhancing the visual appeal of the series. Episode 14, Panic, stands out as a gem, showcasing a more lighthearted side with Robert Walker, playing an unconventional alien. Moonshot, Episode 15, features Peter Graves, Struther Martin, and a captivating young female guest star, providing a special space-themed episode. In Episode 16, Wall of Crystal, Burgess Meredith makes a notable appearance. The Season 1 finale, Episode 17, The Condemned, maintains a good script, cast, and a pleasing new musical score, concluding the first season on a high note. Season 2 maintains the series quality, with improved scripts compensating for a change in music. The imagination displayed across all 43 episodes, outdoor photography, 1960s Fords, narrations, diverse settings, guest stars and crossovers with The Outer Limits, and Star Trek Toss contribute to the show's overall class. Despite varying episode quality, The Invaders remains consistently enjoyable, making it a worthwhile watch for sci-fi enthusiasts. 
David Vincent, the central character in the 1967 TV series, holds a significant place in the sci-fi realm, securing the sixth spot in TV Guide's 25 Greatest Sci-Fi Legends. His portrayal by the lead actor adds depth to the show, making it a standout in the science fiction genre. A notable fan of The Invaders was Frank Black, who had a penchant for all things science fiction. His song band, Wicked World, is a testament to his admiration, incorporating distinct references to the series. This highlights the show's enduring impact, reaching beyond the screen and influencing other forms of artistic expression. Larry Cohen, the mastermind behind this TV gem, drew inspiration from his childhood favorites, Invaders from Mars and Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This creative spark fueled the series, shaping its narrative and contributing to its unique blend of suspense and intrigue. In crafting this sci-fi masterpiece, Cohen masterfully weaved elements reminiscent of the classics that fueled his imagination as a child. The result is a series that stands out not only for its captivating storyline, but also for its influence on subsequent works within the science fiction genre. The show, with its 43 episodes, showcased a range of experiences for viewers. From the distinctive use of stock music in the pilot episode to the introduction of top-notch guest stars, each installment offered something unique. The series' evolution, marked by improved end title music and visually striking scenes, kept audiences engaged. Episode 6, titled Vicar, emerged as the pinnacle, boasting stellar performances from Jack Lord, Alfred Ryder, and a captivating female lead. The synergy of acting, direction, scripting, scoring, and location filming elevated this episode to outstanding levels. While individual episodes varied in quality, the invaders consistently delivered an enjoyable experience for sci-fi enthusiasts. Larry Cohen's vision, coupled with a dedication of the cast and crew, solidified it as a timeless classic in the world of television. Its impact resonates not only through rankings and fan tributes, but also in the broader landscape of science fiction. A series that transcends its time, it continues to captivate audiences, leaving an indelible mark on the genre. Dominic Frontier's distinctive theme music, first heard in 1964's The Outer Limits, The Form of Things Unknown, sets an eerie tone for the show. The musical choice resonates with its sci-fi atmosphere, creating a jarring yet memorable auditory experience. Continuing the tradition of Quinn Martin Productions, William Woodson lends his narration skills to the series. His voice becomes a familiar presence, guiding viewers through the unfolding events, adding a layer of continuity. A peculiar characteristic of some characters is a seemingly deformed fourth finger, as noted by the protagonist, David Vincent. This anomaly, technically immobility rather than deformity, becomes a distinctive identifier. Over time, the narrative subtly hints at the aliens' efforts to correct this trait, indicating an evolution in their physical characteristics. As with any evolving narrative, the show introduces a nuanced development, the alien's gradual elimination of the finger immobility. By the second year, this apparent defect vanishes altogether, showcasing their adaptability and a deliberate course correction in their genetic makeup. In a departure from conventional portrayals of extraterrestrial beings, the series weaves a subtle thread of genetic modification into its sci-fi narrative, demonstrating the alien's intent to refine their physical form. This touch adds depth to the overarching storyline, providing viewers with a glimpse into their evolving nature. Frontier's music, Woodson's narration, and the aliens' unique physical traits collectively contribute to the show's distinctive identity. As it progresses, the narrative unfolds, revealing layers of complexity and evolution in the extraterrestrial characters. The immobility of the fourth finger becomes a noteworthy aspect, symbolizing their quest for perfection.